Connection with another human being is a resource as fundamental to our survival as food and sleep. Without them, we die. I'm Kelly Rhodes with Body and Behavior Institute. People who live alone are at higher risk of death from all kinds of things. We know this. The movie industry makes a lot of money on movies about this. We were all so relieved when Tom Hanks' character in Castaway placed his bloody handprint on a volleyball and made himself a friend. We like to think of ourselves as totally independent. But the truth is, our physiology is not a closed loop system, each person monitoring and regulating their own physiology. Our physiological and mental health depends upon the connection with another human being. If we don't have a predictable relationship with someone who genuinely needs us to survive, we can give up, shut down, emotionally and neurophysiologically. Very connected partners often pass within months of each other, unless the surviving spouse has a strong connection with someone else. Our systems connect to those around us to help us survive. Human connections can be viewed on a trajectory from least strong to most strong. The trajectory is relationship, survival partner, what scientists call a conspecific, and conspecific parity. Relationships can improve our sense of embeddedness in the community, even our financial circumstances. Relationships are important, but hold less survival impact than a survival partner holds. People with whom you have a relationship may not be survival partners to you. We can have a relationship, even a great relationship, with a neighbor, a coworker, or a classmate, and not be survival partners. Two people who grew up in the same city and attended the same schools may have a relationship, but may also have had vastly different survival experiences and therefore would not be survival partners. One of them may have had consistent predictable food and safety, the other not. It doesn't matter that both people need food to survive if only one of them has had to steal to eat. It doesn't matter that two people would be nourished by food from a diner if only one of them is allowed into or is physically or emotionally safe in the diner. Two criteria raise a relationship to the level of survival partner. First, that your experiences relevant to each survival tier are the same or similar to the survival experiences of the other. And second, that person genuinely needs you to survive. Survival experiences inform where we look for food, where we live, and what we do for entertainment. Our survival potential improves when there are two of us. We don't just need another human. Our survival systems look for a person who has experienced the same survival requirements as ours, who secured their survival needs through the same emotions, behaviors, and strategies we have, and experienced the same sensations during those events. And the more similar the survival experiences, the more parity you have. In the beginning of this video, I told you about the connection trajectory, relationship, survival partner, and conspecific parity. So far, we've talked about relationships and survival partner. To learn the amazing power of conspecific parity, watch this video. Researchers all over the world study the vital importance of a survival partner. Here are a few of my favorites. Jean Sackett, Karen Rudolph, John Cacioppo, Kathleen Kendall Tackett, Philip Tobler, Andrew Steptoe. If you'd like to explore some of the research I've talked about in this video, I've included links in the description. 
I'm Kelly with Body and Behavior Institute. If you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up or click the subscribe button. See you next time.